is your Outlook not working? Are you feeling frustrated with an empty inbox, just like me? Well, you're not alone. In this guide, we'll walk you through common reasons why you may not be receiving new emails in Outlook. Plus, we'll show you how you can fix them. Let's get your inbox up and running again in no time. Let's start with the basics. Outlook needs a working internet connection to reach its email servers. If your internet is down, Outlook won't be able to refresh and load your new emails. So here's how you can do that. Just open your web browser and then just try and log on your favorite website. If let's say nothing happens, then your internet is down. Number two, Outlook's powerful spam filters might be redirecting your emails to the junk folder. So let's have a look. All you have to do is move my face to the side and then go to junk emails. And then if you find your missing email, just mark it as not spam. Microsoft's focused inbox feature might be organizing your emails into different tabs. Let's check. See how you've got focused here? You also have other. So make sure you look inside. If you see important emails in the other section, just go ahead and move them to focused. Another thing, sometimes Outlook's offline mode might be enabled, preventing new emails from coming in. So to bring your Outlook back online, all you have to do is click on go online at the top of your screen. I haven't got it here because I'm not using a Microsoft product, but you should find it on your side. Corrupted cache files might also be causing issues with Outlook. So let's clear a cache. Close Outlook and then press Windows key plus capital R. Now type the following code that I've got here on my screen and then press enter. Then all you want to do is open the Rome cache folder and delete all cache files. Custom email rules might be unintentionally filtering your emails. So let's review your filter settings. What you want to do is click on view, then click on view settings, and then go down to rules and deactivate or delete any problematic rules by just pressing on the toggle here. Sometimes Microsoft servers might be experiencing issues. So let's check if Outlook is down. What you have to do is visit the Microsoft 365 service status page. Just type it in, click on it, and then this is what you should get. Double check and then see if any of the issues are reported. Another thing, Blocked senders might be preventing emails from coming through. So let's check your blocked users list. Go to settings, view settings here, and then go ahead and click on junk email. And then see here, this is where you've got blocked senders and domains. Remove any blocked email addresses. Another reason can be that your Outlook mailbox might be reaching its storage limit. So to make some room, all you want to do is clear out unwanted emails or attachments and also consider saving large attachments to OneDrive. Using an outdated version of Outlook might also be causing issues. So to make sure that Outlook is up to date, check for updates in your app store and install any available updates. If all else fails, there might be an issue with your Outlook profile. To create a new profile, go to your account settings, navigate to profiles and add a new profile and set it up. Restart Outlook to use your new profile. So there you have it. Proven ways to fix Outlook not receiving emails. Try implementing these steps and get your inbox back up and running. And remember, if you found this guide helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on mastering Outlook and boosting your productivity. Thanks for watching and happy emailing.